What's up guys, today we're looking at this knife. This is the Microtech Amphibian with the new Ram Lock. Yeah, look at that. This is the new Ram Lock that Microtech came out with last year. Uh, kind of the Axis style lock interpretation that they designed. And uh, it's pretty cool. I wanna check it out. There you go, you can see there, big knife. This is the Amphibian. They came out with three models with this Ram Lock. Came out with the Stitch, the MSI, and the Amphibian. And this is the longest of them all, I believe. Uh, it's a big boy. So they also are using their M390 MK steel. If I can focus. There we go. M390 MK. It's a new steel that they started, they used, um, they got Bowler to make for them. Pretty much M390, just a little bit fancier. And you can see here there's a big recurve blade. Got this nice wedge that comes all the way down through the middle of the blade. Looks really nice. It's got the stonewashed grind grinds flats, and then it's got the flat on top here that's nice and, uh, you know, machined satin. Looks really nice. And then it's got these thumb studs. These thumb studs are really weird. They don't. They look really cool, but they don't work really well. And I'll, I'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, this knife has uh, these, these sculpted, it's like these uh, fluted G10 handles. So it's this, like, kind of fluted it's got these lines in it these milling lines in it which looks kind of cool and uh gives it a unique feel almost like not g10 it almost feels like it's not g10 but it's comfortable in the hand and uh the handle is definitely comfortable it's really long i have a lot of extra room on the back there you can tell it's got a titanium pocket clip as you can see there it's got an ambidextrous the, the lock here the ram lock is ambidextrous so you can flip the clip and then any left hand, right hand people can use this. It's got this really cool titanium backspacer that you can actually see through. I think they did a cool job with that. And they've got this nice jimping on the top and up on here by the rock, by the lock. And uh, big, tor big torques, um, big tor torque spits so that you could use for these screws. Um, definitely really cool. I think these are all T8, and then this is like a really, really big size. I don't, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it, it's much bigger than T8. So, um, that's pretty cool. And this is the ram lock. It uses this, this kind of a metal piece and that attaches to this spring and it pushes it back. That's what pushes the tension on it. And then when you open it, that engages with the tang of the blade and it locks it up. And this thing is completely solid. No movement at all in any direction, up, down, left, or right, it's completely solid, which is crazy because you can still, you know, flick it in and out pretty easily. These thumb studs don't work super well, but they look really cool, and when you get used to them, you can re reliably open and close it, which is cool. It's not, like, as easy as a traditional thumb stud, but when you do get used to it, it's definitely doable. You can see here I'm doing it pretty reliably every time and you can also reverse flick it as well it's a little bit harder but you can do that as well it also looks really cool in my opinion i think it looks awesome um definitely a larger knife very long i'll do some size comparisons here in a minute you can see on the inside there not milled out on any either of the scales it's kind of just two slabs of g10 which is fine it's not very heavy anyway for the size um I mean, it is still a large object. You're going to feel it. But uh, these, the, the ergonomics are good. But there's a little bit of sharpness down here. They didn't really... It's a little bit angular down here. Like right here in the, the these little tips of the G10 here. They kind of... When you're holding it, especially really tightly, you can definitely feel it digging into your finger a little bit. So it's definitely a little bit of a hot spot. Um, the clip feels fine, though. You don't notice the clip in the hand. It's mostly up here around this choil area. You get a little bit of a pokiness so that's a little bit uncomfortable but they did scalp out this these little grooves on each side which definitely makes the grip even better uh it's got this little bit of a choil thing so you could put your finger up here a little bit scary though because you're running up on that edge you don't want to get too close to the blade uh but overall pretty comfy you could hold it way back here i mean i got all four fingers on it still got the choil left over and then there, there's also this choil, so you can choke up here or you can choke all the way. So there's a lot of grips you can hold this knife in. And you can put your thumb here or way up here. Either way, it's comfortable. Uh, it just digs in a little bit right here, so that's one thing to to think about. Let's do some size comparisons. Compare this to 
the PM2 and the Benchmade bug out, wherever it is, here it is. See, overall very long knife. Let's compare it to the QSP Penguin as well. And the 0308. Just a few size comparisons there. So you can tell it is a very long knife. Um, actually, let's compare it to um, the Benchmade Freak. So you can see this is a full size and large knife, and it's even longer than that. It's uh, even longer than the 0308 as well. So it's very long. It's a little bit thinner, um, slimmer anyway, than the 0308, but you can definitely see it has the length that makes up for that. So overall, this is going to be um, a bigger knife. You're going to you're going to be uh, you, you don't want to you know pull this out if you want something small. This is this is big. This is big, big, beefy, overbuilt Microtech. Uh, this is the first Microtech I've ever tried, um, and from what I could tell, the machining and everything is excellent. The quality is way up there. It's it's the quality is up there with ZT. It really is, and um, everything's super solid no wiggle at all nothing i mean the tang pin looks really cool it's got this uh these cool like lines in it i don't know why they did that but but it works super well it's super solid no wiggle which you know with bench maids and their axis lock sometimes they'll have a little bit of play side to side or up and down this thing has nothing it's completely solid which is super awesome it's uh yep really cool deal especially because it's their first like uh crossbar crossbar style lock i mean it's not really crossbar it's like more like a you know slide lock i'm not sure what it's the ram lock but um it's more like uh it doesn't use uh, uh omega springs it uses these uh coil springs instead which is kind of cool so it's a little bit different than an access lock but uh anyway it's a really cool knife um definitely worth checking out uh, they also have the MSI. That's the other one I want to try. The MSI and the Stitch. I want to try the MSI because uh, I like to see. It's a little bit uh, shorter than this knife. And I think it would be a better size for me at least. Um, I do like large knives, but this is a little bit too large. Let's get a weight on this. You see it's 5.9 ounces, which is incredible because you have, you know, a very long blade. Um, for the amount of blade you're getting, that, that's really, really good weight. Overall, I think it looks awesome. Super cool. Definitely awesome. Check it out. And uh, that's about it. Highly recommend this knife. It's a good one. This one is actually brand new, too. Here you can see it's got Amphibian, and it was uh, made in December of 2023, which is pretty cool. And it's got the Microtech logo there, which I think looks awesome. And then this is cool. I like their logo here. That looks awesome. It's not too much branding, but it's just enough to know it's a Microtech. Uh, they did a good job with that. So, yep, if you guys get a chance to, definitely check out the Ramlock. It's sturdy. Um, they did a good job. So, uh, I'm going to get an MSI, hopefully, um, but I am selling this one. So, well, it already sold, of course, because that's how I do this. Um, but the, the, I'm hoping to get an MSI. Try that out as well. But, uh, yeah, it's a good one. So, thank you all for watching. Please like this video and subscribe if you like knife content or just random videos that I post. Um, uh, <laughs> Thank y'all. Have a great day and bye.